carrying your laptop is not very ideal every time or in any scenario you have to set up your lab for penetration testing or hacking but you only have one computer and want to test something on that or the scenario may be that you are trying to impress your friends showing off that you are learning linux or running linux on your phone or scenarios can be anything or any condition so installing linux on phone is not a very big mess but there are problems created when people try to install it so in this video we are going to talk about installing linux on phone so we are going to use this phone which is the latest one realme narzo 30 and it's not rooted obviously that's the question that arises that if the phone requires root or not so it's not rooted while the further procedures if you face any problem while the installation you can just comment in the comment box and i will provide with the solution for that and if not then you can just comment and tell me that you have just installed it so hopefully you will enjoy the video so let's get started without wasting any time so get on the play store and download the app called termux i have already installed it so i'll just open it and let's clear the screen we are not going to talk about the interface so the first thing that we are going to do here is install wget so for that we will do pkg uh, install wget and that's why for permission so if you see here we have a problem which says bad right here now why is that it's because the repository from where uh, the termux install its packages from is under maintenance or down or you can say the server is not working and it also gives the error saying that that repository is under maintenance so what is the solution that we have so far that we are going to do is termux dash change it's change dash repo and in here we have to select all the three so we will do space bar to select and arrow for up and down after selecting press enter and then we have to select the mirror by t singua so after selecting it we have to press enter and as soon as the installation completes the first thing that we are going to do is upgrade it by fix missing now why we are going to do that that's because we want to fix all the packages that have been broken okay it's not package it's apt upgrade and dash dash fix dash missing okay and provide why for every permission that it asks further So upgrading has been completed now we have to update so for that we will do apt update and dash y for permission as soon as we complete this we have to install wget so for that first clear the screen now we have to do is pkg install and wget dash y for permission and uh, it's completed now clear the screen now we have to do is in, uh, download the net hunter so that we can install it so for that we'll wget dash capital o and install dash net hunter dash termux and giving a space we have to put in the link so this link will be in the description so no need to worry about that okay so it's downloaded let's clear the screen first and then run it so for that we will say dot slash and install net hunter dash termux okay permission denied okay we have to do chmod to change the permission so we will do chmod plus x install dash net hunter dash termux okay after doing this we will be running it again okay so the thing you need to understand is the actual download that will install the linux will start after this okay which means the actual download has not taken yet the actual download will be around 3 gb okay 
which means your phone storage will be required around 5 GBs after unzipping it okay so if, if you see here it says uh, 2.98656 gigabytes that will be downloaded right now okay so give the time it takes and this video is going to be fast forwarded to save your time So the installation have been completed and now we can run Linux on our phone. So let's type in NetHunter and yeah we can run it. But wait a second. It's not graphical user interface. It's it's on command line interface. But obviously we can do it on graphical user interface. How we can do that? So we have to download an app called NetHunter store. So for that we will go to store.nethunter.com now we have to download this app so we'll just click here and okay now there are more functionalities of this app like this can be used for various more things but we are not going to talk about that in this video so let's install it so the app has been installed now let's open it and let's look for an app which is called net hunter cakes now this app is going to be working like an viewer for the graphical user interface of Kali Linux. So here is the app. Now if you see here, this is the interface how it's gonna be looking and how we are going to configure it. And this will be going to be the graphical user interface. Let's install it. And we need to change the settings to allow it for installation. Okay. Now after that we will be going to install it. So the installation have been completed. Now here is an also an app called NetHunter which is just an app to run Linux directly. I think it requires root maybe because I tried once but it didn't work. So we are using NetHunter Kex. Now let's open that app and allow it for the storage since it's going to use the local host. So this is the thing that we have to configure we have to configure the port number right here and for that we need to get a port number so for that we will get on our termux app and run our net hunter kex so that we can get the port number so let's do net hunter kex and it will ask for a password so we will set a password right here we will verify that password And we will do no here simply and you can see here we got the port number that we want which is right here under um, RFP port now we have to put this port number right there on our NetHunter Kex app we'll just change this and we'll enter the VNC password that we used you can also use a username for your Linux but we are not doing that right here then we will click on connect and there we go so we are able to run kali linux on our phone and that that's that was pretty easy so let's run the terminal and try some commands so er and there we have the terminal we'll start that and there we have the terminal so let's try the ls command and there we go so it's running pretty smooth it's not much of an issue so hopefully you are now able to run linux on your phone and if not as mentioned you can comment your problems or errors in the comment box i will reply to them and if done enjoy your linux and thank you for watching if you want to watch more videos like this subscribe to our channel and make sure you share this with your friends so that they can also learn about linux